Hey guys, are you ready for your kitchen vocabulary with Mrs. Thompson? Mrs. Thompson is an elderly woman who likes to teach and tell stories. Most evenings, you can find all the children in her neighborhood sitting in her living room listening to stories. Today, she stands in her cozy kitchen and teach her granddaughter Emma the names and the uses of her kitchen utensils. Are you ready for this? Okay, well, let's begin. This is a wooden spoon, she said. It is perfect for stirring soups and sauces because it won't scratch the bottom of the pot. Say it with me. Wooden spoon. Wooden spoon. Wooden spoon. This is a whisk, she said. It is used to beat eggs or mix butter until it's nice and smooth. Say it with me, whisk. 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 This is a chef's knife, she said. It is very sharp and is used for chopping vegetables like carrots and onions. Say it with me, chef's knife. Chef's knife. Chef's knife. This is a paring knife, she said. It is smaller than a chef's knife and is used for peeling fruits and vegetables. Say it with me, paring knife. Paring knife. Paring knife. These are measuring cups, she said. They are used to measure out ingredients like flour and sugar accurately. Say it with me. Measuring cups. Measuring cups. Measuring cups. These are measuring spoons, she said. They are used to measure out ingredients like salt, spices, and a small amount of liquid. Say it with me. Measuring spoons. Measuring spoons. Measuring spoons. This is a spatula, she said. It is used for flipping pancakes or burgers in a frying pan. Say it with me. Spatula. 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 These are tongs, she said. They are handy for turning things on the grill or picking up pieces of food without using your fingers. Say it with me. Tongs. 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 This is a stock pot, she said. It is used for making big batches of soup or boiling pasta. Say it with me, stock pot. Stock pot. Stock pot. This is a saucepan, she said. It is good for making sauces or warming up small amount of food. Say it with me, saucepan. Saucepan. Sauce pan. This is a colander, she said. It is used to drain water from pasta or washed vegetables. Say it with me, colander. 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 This is a grater, she said. It is used to shred cheese and vegetables. Say it with me, grater. Greater, greater. This is a rolling pin, she said. It is used for rolling out dough for pies and cookies. Say it with me, rolling pin. Rolling pin. Rolling pin. This is a ladle, she said. It is perfect for serving soup or stew. 
Say it with me. Ladle. 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 This is a mixing bowl, she said. It is used to mix ingredients together when cooking or baking. Say it with me. Mixing bowl. Mixing bowl. Mixing bowl. These are kitchen shears, she said. They are great for cutting herbs or even trimming meat. Say it with me. Kitchen shears. Kitchen shears. Kitchen shares. This is a baking sheet, she said. It is used for baking cookies, roasting vegetables, or making sheet pan dinners. Say it with me. Baking sheet. Baking sheet. Baking sheet. This is a mortar and pestle, she said. It is used for grinding spices or making pestle. Say it with me. Marta and pestle. Marta and pestle. Marta and pestle. This is a frying pan, she said. It is used for frying, scrambling, sauteing, and sharing with little to moderate amount of fat. Say it with me. Frying pan. Frying pan. Frying pan. Frying pan. These are chopsticks, she said. They are used for eating or even stirring food in a pinch. Say it with me. Chopsticks. Chopsticks. Chop sticks. This is a dinner fork, she said. It is used to eat the main course at all formal and informal meals. Say it with me. Dinner fork. Dinner fork. Dinner fork. This is a carving fork, she said. It is used to hold foods securely in place as well as to keep hands away from the sharp knives as food is being prepared. Say it with me, carving fork, carving fork, carving fork. This is a Dutch oven, she said. It is great for slow cooking stews or baking bread. Say it with me. Dutch oven. Dutch oven. Dutch oven. Did you learn something new today? Let us know in the comments. And if you want to see more of these videos, please give this video a thumbs up. And remember, you need to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So whenever I upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. I'll see you in that next video, which is right there on your screen.